there's this funny thing about runes, which is that, pe that they seem to call people to want to use them for all kinds of stuff other than writing. And I'm actually preparing an online course on this topic, and you can stay tuned for that. But one particular thing that, that people have been doing is making runic calendars. Even today, it's, it's interesting that you, you see new pagans who are actually inventing runic calendars. And sometimes I'm not sure if they're actually aware that an actual runic tradition of runic calendar has been there. So... What I've tried to do is basically make this old calendar system available for use into our age through the Nordic Animus wall calendar. Uh, but importantly, it is the principles in this runic calendar that are ancient, not the current form. Runic calendar has to be adapted to the time because over the centuries, it, it actually skews a little bit away. So a runic calendar from the Middle Ages it wouldn't work today. Traditional knowledge knowledge is always relational. It's always contextual, place-based. So the runic an, uh, calendar that you find in my material was actually given form in 2012 by a Finnish uh, uh, astronomer, creating a sequence of runes representing the cycles of the sun and the moon as accurately as possible into our time. This kind of runic calendar is first documented in Scandinavia in the 13th century. The two first documented cases of runic calendar are the Nusherping staff and the Borsa Mac Baptismal Fund, but likely it represents a dialoguing with earlier heathen loony solar reckoning. And you can learn more about this in my book that goes together with the 2024 Nordic Animist Wall Calendar that shows the photographic art of Daria in Dresden. This year is layouted by Sarah Bui, Last year sold out rather quickly, so click on the link somewhere around this video and secure yours today. See you around.